Jacqueline from The Sunday Project. So today I'm gonna give you a breakdown on my go-to makeup favorites. Let's get started. So starting with this, this is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I don't think I'm supposed to call it a beauty blender because technically that's a brand, so it's a sponge. And as you can see, it's been well loved. It's already starting to fall apart. And I've only had it for a couple of months, but since I started using it, it's really improved the way that my foundation goes onto my face. I use it to apply cream contour. I use it to apply my highlighters. So it's really useful and I really love the way it blends everything so beautifully onto your skin. Moving on to foundation, this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and the shade that I use is Stromboli. I really love the way this looks on my skin. It gives me a very like even coverage and it just blends so well into my skin. I just really feel like I'm actually glowing, which is I guess why they call it Sheer Glow. And then for concealer, I pair it with the NARS, what do you call this? The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. So this is exactly my skin tone and I just love the way that this goes on. The application is just so smooth and the coverage is just great, especially for hiding dark circles under my eyes. So I'm kind of doing this in the order in which I apply my makeup. So we're starting with foundation and then concealer. And the next thing I would do is powder everything into place. Right now I'm using the Bare Minerals Touch Up Veil, which is supposedly a translucent powder. And I picked this one because it's SPF 15. So throughout the day when I want to touch up my makeup, when I want to top up on my SPF, then I'll just put this on top. And that way I don't have to worry about my makeup getting messed up. Before I put on my powder, I actually put on the Benefit High Beam for highlighter just here at the top of my cheekbones. And when I first got this product, I actually really didn't like it. Like I just felt like it left little highlight dots along the top of my cheekbones and it wasn't really blending correctly. And it turns out it was because I wasn't using the right tool. So when I use the beauty blender, the beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it, it blends in so nicely. So now I super love this for my highlighter. And then I put on the contour. And yes, this looks really gross and dirty now because I've had it for a while. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Dark. I just love this for contour because there's absolutely no shimmer in the product. So it just gives you a, like kind of just like a darker shade and then just really brings out like the high points in your face. <laughs> After I do my contouring, I go straight to my eyes by Terry Ombre Black Star Cream Eyeshadow in the shade brown perfection and this is a little bit of a higher end product and it is a little pricey but since i bought it i've used nothing else like i haven't touched any of my other eyeshadows since i got this so i use it if you want it to be more of an everyday eyeshadow then you just really blend it in until it's just a nice wash over your eye if you want it to be more stand out then you concentrate more on this on like the outer corner of your eye and then just blend it out slightly towards the inner corner and it gives you this really nice ombre effect i just love this product so I'll, I'll put the By Terry Ombre Black Star here on the outer corners of my eye. And then from the middle and then going to the inner corner, I like to use the Shimmer Brick by Bobbi Brown. And I know that this is supposed to be a bronzer, but I like to use it as eyeshadow. So you have like a bunch of gold shades to pick from. Sometimes I'll like mix them all together and then put that right in the center of my eye. So it just kind of brightens it up and gives you that nice like golden effect. Then for eyeliner, I have been using the... Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper. This is very similar to the Dolly Wink Eyeliner. I just feel like this lasts a little longer compared to the Dolly Wink Eyeliner, so I really love the way this works. And I am still using the same mascara that I have been using for years and years and years now. It is the Majorlica Majorca Lash Enamel Glamour Volume On. I've been using it for so long, I still don't know how to pronounce it right. So let me know if I got that wrong in the comments down below. I just love this because once you put it on, your eyelashes just stay in place and they hold for the entire day. Next, we have my go-to lipstick. This is the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in the shade 705 Let's Get Naked. So I absolutely love this because it's so moisturizing, it's so easy to apply, and it's definitely an MLBB, My Lips But Better shade because once I put it on, my lips just look brighter and they just look more healthy but it doesn't really look like I'm wearing a very dark shade of lipstick on, so I absolutely love that. So these are my makeup essentials. This is what I reach for every day for my makeup routine. Kind of the must-have makeup products in my kit. The ones that I will definitely repurchase once they are done. 
Alright, that's everything. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me and leave me a comment down below if you have any suggestions on what else you'd like to see me do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!